what has been your journey so far with the clients? Because, you know, it's like people like you convince me that it all makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so tell us what has been your journey? Um, it's, it's been really a great journey. Um, I started out with the cleanse and it was a rough weekend, uh, just getting rid of all the literal crap out of your body. Um, but gosh, once I got through that, I started getting more energy. Um, my skin started clearing up. Um, I was regular. I, I had been constipated for years, so I was literally full of it. <laughs> nice. But um, yeah, now I'm down 49 pounds. Um, down two pant sizes and I just feel amazing. I, I just like, I can't wait to share it with everybody. <laughs> Hi. Awesome. I remember when you contacted me, we were chatting on Facebook and you said, you said that you will have a surgery on your foot, right? What was going on before? Uh, well, it was a surgery that I shouldn't have had. I didn't need. And because I had it now, I, I need to have another one because um, the bone stopped, it, it died because of a surgeon. But had I known what I know now, I would have tried to heal myself in a much different way. Hmm. Um, but everything else, I'm, I'm off two different medications now um, that I had been on for years. And um, everything is just getting better. I, I feel less and less anxiety and depression. And it's really been amazing i've tried for so many years to do this and um you know all the little different fad diets and and they don't last long because they're not doing what you need to do right yeah yes so, so cleansing is not a diet right no no yes this is a Would you, way of life. it's a it's a lifestyle right yes, yeah yes because when you i think that when you acknowledge that the, we live in a toxic world unfortunately then what are you going to do? You're going to cleanse on the go. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Awesome. So, Kathy, what did you eat before? Oh, I ate horrible things. <laughs> <laughs> horrible tell us, things. tell us. Confession <laughs> time. I was addicted to pasta. Uh-huh. Um, anything with dairy. And are you Italian? Are you Italian? I am. I am. Yeah, hey, of oh, course. Pasta, you know? <laughs> but, uh. So I still struggle with that once in a while because I still kind of miss that. Of course, um, it's a love affair, right? It is. It's comfort food, you know? Yes. <laughs> Grandma would always say, eat, eat. Totally. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, it, it is just a different way of life. And it's so much more simple, you know? You don't have to, when you're going to eat, you don't have to think about, oh, well, what am I going to cook today? Right. And since I stopped buying all that crap, I spend, my, my food bill went in half. You know, yeah. just, just so a lot of, this is very important, Kathy. A lot of people think, oh my gosh, you know, if I cleanse and go, go eat healthy, I'm going to blow a lot of money each month on yeah. food and so on. What's your, what's your food bill right now? Um, it, it varies, but I was spending probably anywhere from maybe three to $500 a month. Mm -hmm. you know, we're a family of three. So right. I, you know, I haven't gotten... Uh, everybody to conform yet, so I still. Yeah. Have to <laughs> um, it's it's been cut in half. Awesome, right? Yeah. Yes, for me the same thing, right? Yeah. I actually I don't shop in Whole Foods. Please don't think I shop in Whole Foods. Okay, I go to a Vietnamese store, Asian store, and I buy fresh fruit there. I just check that they would not be GMO. Yep. And when you eat fruit, you poop. So it goes yeah. in and out very fast. So you don't have to, eat, you don't have to eat organic. Of course, if you can afford organic, it's awesome, right? But yeah. if you're on a budget or if you would like to invest your money in something else, you don't have to eat fruit organic. Fruit is so juicy and it's so full of fiber that it, it just goes through your brushes, toxins out, and you, it comes out, right? If you, if you eat animal foods, then you better eat organic and the highest quality. If you eat beans, rice, you know, all sorts of things like this, then you better eat organic because it sits in the body, right? Yeah, it does. It's super. It's all in forever. <laughs> I know. Yeah, and, and then we wonder, how come I have headache? Yeah. Oh, I had migraines for weeks and weeks. And, um, yeah. So, you know, Kathy, I have a question for you. So, um, how... Um, 
right now, when you feel lighter in your body, right? What becomes possible for you? What can you do today that you were not able to do before? Um, I'm able to get up and move around where before I just wanted to sit. Um, mm -hmm. I had gotten very sluggish after my surgery and I literally sat for a year and a half mm -hmm. and so did all that stuff in my colon. But since I've been able to, um, you know, all that stuff is gone. My inflammation has gone down by half, which yeah. is why I couldn't. This is, what did the doctor say? Well, he asked what I was doing. <laughs> and I said, I'm eating fruit. <laughs> <laughs> and he just looked at me, you know, you know, they don't, they don't approve of what you do. You know, it's like, well, that's what I'm doing. And he said, well, keep doing it then. <laughs> <laughs> That was my rheumatologist that said that. That's so, so beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. So uh, let me ask you one thing. Would you be able, because, you know, we keep talking about fruit a lot here, yes? yes. But um, w do you think that you would be able to just go start eating fruit like from, like, any time if you did not detox? No, no. Because um, I have tried that before. I've tried the fruit and vegetable thing, but I still had all those cravings. Um, it's just my body needed all that crap. But when I did the detox, it was almost instant. Like within three or four days, I didn't want that anymore. I was looking forward to my next glass of juice or my next banana or apple. I walk around and I have big bowls of fruit in my kitchen. And when I'm hungry, I'll grab something on my way through. Well, um, I am writing a book. I want to tell about my journey through life. Um, all the hard times right through to, you know, where I am now, and I feel amazing. And I just want to help other people to do that. Yes. It feels so good to have somebody tell you, oh, I feel good, you know? Yes. It's contagious, huh? Yeah. yeah. I have, a, I have a, quite a few friends right now who are battling cancer, and I'm getting them going, juicing, and, and they've been trying it. So, so awesome. Focus on that. <laughs> so awesome. After I read your book that I, I thought, you know, I could do this. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Parul. Parul is here and she's our bestseller expert. Parul, uh, Parul is in India currently. Yes. And she, Parul is, a, uh, Parul is an engineer and she has an engineer's brain. And also as a mom, uh, she, she, when her child was born, she decided to write a book about juicing because you know, she healed herself and she prepared herself for pregnancy thanks to cleansing and detoxing, right? So then she became a best-selling author because she hacked the Amazon and Kindle. Yeah. <laughs> she basically, you know, she basically figured out the code. So Parul, I want to ask you here, when Kathy writes a book, shall we help her to make it a bestseller? Hello, Parul. Parul. <laughs> hmm? We want to hear you. <laughs> yes, absolutely, Kathy. I can already see it. <laughs> exactly, right? I mean, Why not? Yeah. Know. Yes. And that is how we promote health and we promote, you know, people find it more credible if you have that badge, right? So why um, not? As it does said, people make a lot of money on sickness. Let's make a lot of money on wellness. <laughs> yes. So awesome. So thank you so much, Kathy. Thank you. Great, great to have you here. And I'm going to continue the presentation, all right? So okay. people, my dear friends here, who, who, everyone, can you please say, can you please acknowledge Kathy for being so freaking awesome? I mean, just like, I want you to put in the chat how beautiful she is, how charming, and how courageous to, to step and share the message of health right now when she's on her journey i mean could this could there possibly anything more ex ex inspiring yes thank you yes there's a lot of love here and i really appreciate you know the community that that we have created in viva la clans i mean we share stuff like you know we talk about animals we, <laughs> we talk about different strange things that we do you know <laughs> And we have that mutual understanding, that sense of like, yeah, I know, I know what you're up to, of course. <laughs>